Type of scandal forcing system wide changes at Uber played out in a Dallas courtroom today. A former driver is on trial for raping an intoxicated customer. And our Robbie Owens followed the testimony today. She has more from the Crowley Courthouse. I was piecing together a night of spotty memories. Using the pseudonym Lindsay Kramer, a Dallas woman spent some three hours on the witness stand hoping to convince jurors that she was raped by her Uber driver. An attack she freely admits she doesn't fully remember. As disgusting and um, challenging as it was, I had to call my rapist and try to discuss um, uh, scheduling or, or planning another meetup. I was desperate to get him to admit what he did. Kramer had already showered by the time she called police two days later. She also testified that she was embarrassed, so she initially misled detectives about how much she drank in July of 2015. She'd been out celebrating a friend's birthday. We were pretty much all drunk. That friend told jurors that Kramer was drinking for at least five hours and the next day needed help filling in the blanks. And I thought she was calling to say happy birthday, but she was kind of, you know, telling me, like asking if she fell because she had scrapes on her knees. Prosecutors have argued that Kramer was intoxicated and therefore unable to give consent. She admitted to having fought with her live-in boyfriend, so defense attorneys suggested that the sexual encounter was consensual and the motive was revenge. We're trying to send some sort of message to Jason by deciding to have sex with your Uber driver? No. I was looking forward to being proposed to on a beautiful island. Now, Shaboot is facing two counts of aggravated sexual assault. If convicted, he is facing a possible sentence of two years to life in prison. Testimony resumes here tomorrow morning at 9. Live at the Crowley Courthouse in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. Robbie, thank you. And today, Uber announced policy changes tied to claims of sexual misconduct. The company will now allow both riders and drivers to file allegations of rape or assault in open court rather than in secret arbitration hearings. By the end of the year, Uber says it will start to publicly report incidents of alleged sexual misconduct.